Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mary and I'm so excited that you guys are here with me today. Today I got these super cute cards from Trader Joe's. Look at how cute they are. They say Bravo Cotto. And then in the middle they say holy guacamole. You're doing great. I got three of them because I think they are so cute. Do you guys get Trader Joe cards as well? I love them. They're so fun. Like I said, I'm so excited that you're here with me today. Today, I'm going to be talking about three ways that you can enter more fully into World Youth Day. We're now in February, so we're only six or so months away from World Youth Day, which is super, super exciting. So I really wanted to create this video just to allow your heart to rest and to know that the pressure is not on you to be a perfect pilgrim, but it's rather to allow yourself to be open to whatever God has in store for you. So let's get started. Okay guys, so what is a pilgrim in the first place? A pilgrim is someone who allows themselves to be led by God, no matter where they are on this journey of life. And so when you think about it, a pilgrim is somebody who's constantly journeying and they're open to maybe going to the left or to the right or to wherever God calls them. And the coolest thing is that you don't have to go on a pilgrimage somewhere super far away in order to know that you are a pilgrim here on this earth. There are many different pilgrimages you can go on. You can go to Rome, you could go on the Camino de Santiago. There are so many, but in reality, the main pilgrimage of your life is just living life with arms wide open to wherever the Lord is calling you to go. These are all simply steps on our journey towards our destination, which is heaven, which is union with God, which is super amazing. So even though you're preparing for World Youth Day, just know that your life right now is a pilgrimage and that when you're on World Youth Day, it's just a different kind of pilgrimage that the Lord is inviting you into, but it's still your life. It's still you being a pilgrim on your way towards eternity with him forever. With that context, let's go into three steps that you can take to be a pilgrim on World Youth Day. So the first one is to pack like a pilgrim. And this is really hard for many of us to think about because we're told, oh, you need to bring this, this, and this, and that, and that, and that, which is true. You should be packing things. I don't want you to go to World Youth Day with only one shirt or one pair of shorts or one pair of underwear. But I think there's this overemphasis on making sure you bring the right outfit for every day of the trip, when in reality, it's okay if you rewear things, and it's okay if maybe you don't bring your 30-day wardrobe for a two-week-long trip, right? And so I think just the simplicity of being like, okay, Lord, like, what do you want me to bring on this trip? And practically, what do I need to bring on this trip, right? So maybe go through what you want to bring. And then if there's anything that you don't absolutely need, maybe don't bring it. Maybe that's a way that the Lord's inviting you to enter more fully into being a pilgrim at World Youth Day is by simplifying your wardrobe and trusting that you will be loved regardless of what you wear and what you bring. And remember that you're not going to a crazy country that doesn't have any stores or shopping areas. You can buy whatever you don't bring when you're in Portugal. So I just want any stress that you might have about packing just to be set to the foot of the cross and just trust that you will bring everything you need to bring and what you don't need to bring, just surrender that to the Lord as well. The second way to prepare like a pilgrim for World Youth Day is to pray like a pilgrim. And this is so beautiful because the Lord has each one of you who is going to World Youth Day on a different journey. And so, of course, what you pack is going to be different than the person next to you, but also how you pray is going to be different. And even though you might be going to Mass every day, you might be praying a rosary every day, all of these things are so beautiful and so amazing to your faith life on World Youth Day, but it's so beautiful because there are going to be ways that the Holy Spirit inspires you that are so different than the person next to you. So my invitation is just to be open to whatever the Lord invites you into when it comes to praying. And there are going to be so many opportunities for you to enter into prayer. Well, I think that's one of the beautiful things about World Youth Day is that prayer is all around you. You're with the body of Christ. And so there are so many people who are praying and there are confessions that are going on everywhere. But what if the Lord's inviting you to pray with a person from Germany? What if the Lord's inviting you to pray with that girl who's in your group who no one's talking to? What if the Lord's just asking you to enter into silence because it's a really hectic 
day at World Youth Day and you just need five minutes of silence to just be with him before the end of the night. So just allow yourself to be open. And I think sometimes we have this idea of what prayer should look like, especially when we enter into a pilgrimage. But just allowing yourself to be detached from even what you think you should be praying like and what the Lord is going to invite you into. You can even pray now, Lord, I am open to whatever you have planned for me for World Youth Day. Allow my heart to just know you better. And I am confident that the Lord will give you many opportunities to know who he is more fully throughout the week of World Youth Day. And finally, the third tip I have for preparing like a pilgrim for World Youth Day would be to love like a pilgrim. And to love like a pilgrim is probably the hardest because our hearts are so fragile. But our hearts are also so beautiful and they're also so full of love. And so it's not just how can I love, but how can others love me at World Youth Day? And so when you think about it, you're going to be with hundreds of thousands of other people. You're going to see the body of Christ from different parts of the world. And you're going to see the body of Christ even from your own community. If you're going with your diocese, then you're going to see people in your community and you're going to have the opportunity to grow closer with them in the body of Christ. And so what a beautiful way for you to be challenged to give of yourself to those around you. I think this is one of the biggest blessings of World Youth Day is that you get to be united with other people who are your age for a certain amount of time and to be inflamed with the Holy Spirit to move forward and to bring what you learn from World Youth Day back to your hometowns. It's really supposed to be a transformational experience, right? to allow you to love more fully in your everyday life. And so (laughs) things are going to come up at World Youth Day throughout the course of your trip where you're like, oh my gosh, I am being tested. I'm being tested because my group is giving me these rules that I have to follow or I have to follow instructions from someone or I don't really want to do X, Y, or Z, right? There are going to be things that you don't necessarily want to do. But because you're being invited more fully into your group or into the journey of World Youth Day, that you're going to have to be flexible and you're going to have to learn how to accept the things that are maybe outside of your control. And in a way, that's the Lord allowing you to love. That's the Lord allowing you to love the person who's in charge of you or the people who are taking care of you. Or even maybe, yeah, like I said, maybe you're called to pray with somebody from your group who is really struggling. And so, Lord, how am I being called to love today? But you're also human, right? And so there are going to be ways that the body of Christ is going to love you. And so allow the body of Christ to love you. If you're sick or really suffering one day, allow people to know that. Be real with where you are because your humanity doesn't go away just because you're now in Portugal at World Youth Day. No, you are still a human being. You're still whoever you are and God has made you and he loves you and he wants you to enter more fully into union with those who he's placed in your life at this moment. And so allow yourself to just know that he is with you, he is using you, and he loves you so much. But he's also calling you to be detached from the things of this world so that you can enter more fully into the reality of where you are in that present moment. And that means to really just be present to the people around us because we only experience God in the present moment with whoever we're encountering. Jesus is in the person in front of you. And so just know that they are beautiful and that they're loved and that you are going to be stretched to love in different ways during World Youth Day. And of course, the Lord's going to love you as a pilgrim. So just allow him to love you as well. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'm so excited to hear about how World Youth Day planning is going for you and just continue to entrust the whole process to him. He has a plan for your life and he has a plan for your World Youth Day. So God bless you guys. Make sure to like and to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.